are going to improve our luck. But if we don't start doing it, eventually you're going to be unlucky. You're going to be sad. You're going to poor me. And then uh, I remember uh, also in, um, well, this time we're in Laughlin and uh, my friends or my sister's friend, she, she kind of tagged along with us and, and I had a big thing of quarters and, you know, back in the day when I showed, I guess it shows you how long ago this was, you know, you had the big plastic jars of quarters. And I remember her saying, you're lucky because, you know, she spent her wad, I guess. And now I had all these quarters. I'm thinking, well, yeah, it's because I bust my ass every day, all day. And, you know, I, I do have a little bit of spending money and I didn't blow it. And okay. Yeah. So I, I think we almost need to take the word luck and, um, you know, just find a new word for it. Like you are, um, uh, awarded, you know, it's, it's, and, and, you know, uh, you are awarded. Yeah. Yeah. Everything you do, um, will help you to get a reward and, and whatever it is, whether it's those, um, those overweight girls that are walking, you know, you, you, you lower your, your caloric intake and you turn up your, you know, your output of burning calories, um, and you know you, you do all these things, and guess what? You your reward will be that much closer. And if you want a quick reward, it's going to be a small reward. But just look at it this way. Okay, so you're working right now, or driving to work, or doing whatever, starting your company. Um, if the reward is too big, it's it's going to be too easy. Other people are going to know about it, and they're going to jump on it, and it's not going to be a huge huge reward. What you want is a little bit of reward, but you want to keep on doing it for a long period of time and then remind yourself where you're at now and where where you want to be and where you've been and kind of compare yourself to a month ago. So all right, I'm going to keep on making these little tweaks to award myself and uh, you know, just measure just you know, don't measure, you know, two years from now, you can't psych yourself out that much, but just do a little rewards here and there. And, you know, that's, I, I think if you want to be fit, that's one way to do it. You could be lucky, <laughs> you know, down the road, you say, oh yeah, I lost 10 pounds. I lost 20. And then in your job, you know, I want to be more efficient. I want to be better at it. I want to make more money. I want to save uh, whatever it is, whether you want to be, uh, a better anything like my thing is I want to be a better speaker so I keep on doing reps like this you know I just you know listen to myself and say okay I, I'm terrible here oh I wasn't funny there and oh, it wasn't funny there again and um, you know you can't compare yourself oh uh, somebody said that this podcast podcast sucks so uh, I'm gonna quit no it's just okay does it suck less now than it did later on and then eventually you're like me welding in a hundred degree weather you're you're working at it you know if you just define work as as it's not work doesn't always have to be digging a trench swinging a hammer uh returning emails to customers work could be part of your self-improvement and you know it would be like going to the gym and somebody saying oh you know you're you're horrible Saying, all right, I'm going to quit the gym now because this sucks. You know, yeah, I am horrible. I'm fat. What do I, what am I at the gym for? I'm not a bodybuilder. No, you just say, okay, fine. Thanks for your input. That was, um, that was very, uh, very productive. Um, and just forget about it. You know, I always say when, when somebody talks trash or they're haters or, or whatever, just forget about it. You can't focus on, you know, moving the needle forward while you're moving the needle back. It's one or the other. You know, you're going to point that needle in some direction. So, yeah, if it's good criticism, okay. But just make sure whatever you do, work on being luckier. <laughs> and, 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 you know, you'll, you'll find out that the, the harder you work, the luckier you'll get. And I am going to now... Try to see if I could go sneak into a commercial. Hey, everybody, go to next-sugar.com to get your real sugar with half the calories or up to half the calories. Sometimes it may be in the 40 percentile. 
uh, get your uh, ketogenic diet going and that's one way to get it going if you don't want to do it buy it for somebody that you care about because sometimes people just need that kickstart and it may just be a box or a bag of neck sugar also you can bake with it and check me out on a daily podcast on Instagram I'm going to be posting some stuff every day just kind of little teasers to get other people going and eventually we will get the website going it's a daily podcast.com but be patient very patient because it's me building it and my big IT team um, that consists of my wife right now are working on it arduously as we speak well Right now, she's probably watching the Bees movie with the kids right now. Um, but I'm certain, as soon as she's done with that, I'm sure she'll get right on it. Anyway, I know she listens, so I could uh, I could poke fun. I hope I hope she'll laugh. All right, guys, we will get back to whatever exciting stuff I'm talking about. everybody we're, we're talking about luck um uh i i i'm probably just gonna go for a couple more minutes but basically it's let's look if we look at luck as awarded um you know you're instead of you're lucky you're awarded and like anything else just chip away at it whatever you're gonna do and to say okay next month i'm gonna be awarded and then keep on saying awarded 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 and then later on, we'll switch it to luck. Um, and you know what? Eventually, if you're a harder worker at work, um, if you're working at your, your marriage, I know some people say, oh, you know, you're lucky to have that husband. Well, maybe the husband bought his wife flowers, uh, listened to her, never, you know, uh, fantasized about you know other women so he's going to bed with the the woman of his dreams every night and all these things and he's spending extra time with the family instead of other places so you know yeah when when that wife in return gives her husband her all nobody could say oh well they're uh lucky no he just awarded for his 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 good deeds so to speak his good work his input um and you know, kind of a side note. Um, one thing I notice is try not to when you're when you're dealing with uh, a relationship. Um, don't say, "Okay, I'm doing this. I expect this. I'm not getting this, so I'm pissed off." That's the thing that I'm working on. <laughs> um, and my thing is, you know, I try to be eternally focused. Okay, what does God want me to do? What should I do? And then you'd be surprised. Eventually, that person will come around. They make their mistakes and. Um, you know, they'll double down on, on when they come back. And, you know, if you, if you want to build a legacy, you have to do that. You can't just respond to everything around you, you know, oh, here's a reason to get pissed off. I'm going to get pissed off because anybody could do that. And that, that's part of my, my problem. That's, that's one thing I got to work on. And eventually, you know what? I will be lucky and I want you to be the luckiest person at your job in your, your house. And, um, you know what? Hey, I, if you, if you got to be something, you may as well be lucky. All right, guys, we will talk at you later. Hey, maybe that's why they call it getting lucky. <laughs>